Hey guys, welcome to another uh, Twill Attack training video. Today we're going to be doing a laser alignment on this motor blower assembly right here behind me. Um, now we're going to go back through all the steps, the, the um, safety, the cleaning and inspection, rough alignment. We're just going to do that in fast forward because you should have already gone over that in the previous modules. If you have any questions, go back to the videos that I've already made or you're welcome to come and ask me. But highly recommend just reverting back to those videos and that way you can get a good visual of what's happening. Because we want to make sure we go through all of those. That way when we get to using that laser alignment tool where it's like one move or maybe even two moves to get it done very quickly. Just being most effective is all. Um, otherwise, sit back, here we go. So next we're going to go through the process of pulling off this coupler, taking a look at it. So you got two halves, and notice there's a lot of crease in this one, so we'll just set these off to the side. Make sure you uh, keep a hold of these gaskets. You don't want to lose those, okay? I just shot this huge monologue where I pulled out all the bolts um, and it turned out the camera wasn't on. So you'll have to envision me pulling out the bolts. Make sure you pull the bolts off. The next thing now that we get the coupler undone, and the bolts out, we're gonna lift the motor off, check out how this base looks, okay? So now that we got that motor off, we're gonna go ahead and actually clean this paint off because it's pretty, um, you get some serious ridges and stuff around here, so we're just gonna wire wheel that off. All right, so now that we got all the rough alignment and uh, kind of all the basic stuff figured out, we're gonna start working with our laser alignment tool and go ahead and actually laser line this pump. Um, we're gonna be using this uh, Viberline fixture laser. Um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you the steps to install it right now. The only thing I wanna point out is these lasers here. You'll see that some have an M on them and some of them have an S like this one. M stands for uh, motor, S stands for stationary. So I'm gonna go ahead and install these guys on the shaft. We're gonna go ahead and mount our lasers here and here, uh, mainly because I'm not sure that we have enough room to even swing it around at all over here. And uh, it would be actually pretty far away by this, because of this key over here. So let's go ahead and get them installed. So now that we got these mounted on the shafts, I want to point out one thing that we try to get the lasers to line up. There's another one right here. We try to get them to line up as much as possible. That way we don't have to do much adjustment. And if they're too far out, they won't even they won't even connect with each other. I also want to say you should take this cool little crazy tool here and tighten up your oh, where are they at? These little guys. Just throw a little cinch on them. Be careful, it's all aluminum and you could break all these. So just, just do a little cinch to make sure they're not gonna slide anywhere and then they're held pretty tight. I also try to make sure that these cords go the same direction. That way when they're plugging in, um, it's not super crazy and confusing, all right? Like I said before, it doesn't matter which, uh, which side you plug them into. I pretty much just powered it up and this is the first screen that shows up. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna press this horizontal alignment button. We hit okay because it's highlighted. 
There we go. Okay, so now it's giving us a uh, list of, depending on you know how fast our motor spins, how much uh, tolerance we could have. Right now it's set to a 3600 RPM. I checked the motor and it runs at 1780. So we're gonna go ahead and drop it down. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can drop it down. Come on. Ugh. I'll go. Okay. And we're just gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna go and hit okay there. And now it's asking for the measurements from different areas. So the first measurement it's asking for is from center to center. And how we're gonna do it is I just kind of set it on the center of that chain and go to the other center. I have about five inches. Uh, yours won't always be, or won't per se be exactly that. So let's go move it. And then we're gonna hit five, cause we're at five inches. Hit next or enter. And now it's gonna ask what the distance is from the center of the coupling to the motor side coupling, or motor side laser is. Let's check that. So I'm just gonna measure from over here. It looks like I have about two and a half inches. I'm gonna guess it just went ahead and split it for me. And um, that's why I have the two and a half already there. But I just double checked that measurement to make sure it was correct. Okay, now it wants to know how far away from the first laser to the front foot is. Go ahead and measure that. So I really wanted to show you this one because there's kind of some tricks you can do. One is if you take and rotate the shaft down, you can you can measure to the center of this, oops, get some weight on it. You measure to the center of this pole back to your bolt, and it's usually asking to the center of the bolt. So So we're about 11, 11 and a quarter inches. So we're gonna enter that. 11.25, hit okay. And the next one's asking how wide the feet are from each other, one from the, the front ones to the back ones. Let's measure that. We got about a foot and a quarter. So we got about a foot and a quarter, so we're gonna go ahead and put 12 in there, 0.25. Uh-oh, so messed that up. Do that again, 12.25. Two, five. Awesome. All right, and then I'm thinking, now there's a little arrow showing over here to this this uh, circle. You can probably hardly see, oh yeah, you can see it. Um, we're gonna rotate the lasers around to that section, which would be. Once we're there and we're, we're stable, it's gonna light up green and we're just gonna hit that enter button and it's gonna think. All right, so now it wants me to rotate upwards to the 12 o'clock position. Let me go ahead and do that. It's gonna think for a second, once this goes green, we're gonna hit okay, it's thinking again. So now it's telling me to make one over there at 90, or at the, I don't guess that'd be like the three o'clock position-ish. Now, you pretty much just need to be outside of this red pie to make the third measurement. We'll go ahead and rotate it all the way over to the 90. Okay. Once we're there and everything lights up green, we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. It's thinking. So here's all your values of where everything's sitting right now. If we just press on this uh, shim button right here, it's gonna tell us what shims to add where. So it's telling me I need to add 11 mils or 11 thousandths shim to the front and a 15 to the back. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so what I've done is I've just got my, my 15,000 shim that I'm gonna need to put in the rear, and I got um, my 11,000, so I got a 10 and a 1,000 shim right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and loosen these up and install them. You're gonna notice that I'm gonna take a pry bar, I'm gonna get in between here, the motor and the base, lift it up, slide those in, gently set it back down, and move along to the, the next side, okay? So I had to do a little bit of a restart here, but now that we've, this is a new shims and we've got it, you can see there's green check marks. It's on the screen. That's indicating that uh, your shimming is good. You could add more, it looks like, but it's within tolerance at the coupling. So we're gonna go hit next. This is the screen for take you to, it's gonna take you to a live screen where it's gonna show you what's actually happening. We hit okay there. Now this is gonna be live, live measurements, so. All right, you can see right now, again, I've got all my measurements are in green here. 
Um, if they were in red, they'd be we need to add or take away, and if they were in uh, orange, you'd need to again add or take away to get to a, a green state. Now we can check our side to side just by rotating our coupling, and you can see that it's spinning. The little lollipop is going to the side. All right, it's saying I need to bring the back feet over 134 thousandths. I need to bring the front foot over 66. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with the jack bolts. Okay, so like I was saying, this rear end is going to need to move over 132 thousandths, and this front needs to move over 66 thousandths. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen this side, these jack bolts up just a hair, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to tighten these ones down after we loosen up the bolts, okay? So I'm going to loosen up the bolts, and then we're going to go through that operation. So I went ahead and uh, did this one split screen for you guys, so you can kind of see what the monitor is doing versus what we're doing it's still very hard to, to actually tell but what we're doing is we're just making small adjustments and you can see the numbers that the arrows are pointing to next to that motor are going down slowly and we just kept working it back and forth until we got those to be within and you're going to notice that they both turned to green there and we're good okay so now that we've got the bolts tightened back down we can go and we can check all directions so you can see that we've got the lasers in the upright position right now and you see that both of my angular and parallel alignment is perfect and then we're gonna go and tip it to the side oh there it is just gotta be right on that uh, 90 degrees there and you can see my angular and parallel misalignment from side to side is perfect too so now we're just gonna go ahead and put it back together another rule with these jack bolts is you want to make sure that they're always totally backed off and not making contact with the motor all times the main the main hold down should be coming from these bolts not from these okay so if these bolts can't hold it down there's something wrong all right so that completes the class on laser alignment please make sure all the tools end up back in the box like this if you would oh and a little side note um, this is a quick reference book it has um, everything put down very basic um, so it makes it really easy to quick reference it um, also this is the user manual everything you know is in here but it's also kind of the basics are in this so grab this if you uh, are get struggling at all and uh, give it a chance